My name's Faye and I'm doing medicine at Anglia Reskin and I'm about to go into my third year. I'm from Llandidno, North Wales. Uh, so I just have an Instagram where I post pictures where like wearing clothes, <laughs> like a fashion and then also showing like my life doing medicine. So I'm doing a five year course um, medicine to become a doctor at the end of it. I chose my course because like I, I wanted to become a doctor so that's the only I guess you can take two routes you can either do like biomedical sciences and then do a graduate medicine degree or you can just go straight on to do medicine straight after school and I just chose to do that because I'd already made the decision that I wanted to become a doctor. For me my course is a very practical clinical orientated course so medicine degrees across, across the country vary quite a bit because some of them you don't see any patients for the first two to three years and then for mine, I've been on placement since first year. I see everything that I learn about has a clinical relevance. So it's very practical and I'm quite like a hands-on person. I like to see how things apply in the real world. Um, so everything that I've been learning, knowing how that will actually help me in the future has been, instead of just seeing it on a book and not really understanding. So I've really, really enjoyed that part of yeah my course. I did biology, chemistry, maths and Welsh baccalaureate. Did any of the subjects help with your course? Um, so chemistry, you need it, but I don't actually think it helped that much. I say biology is the most. Uh, some medical schools, you don't actually need biology, but in my opinion, biology has been way more beneficial than chemistry. So if you want to do medicine, then take biology and chemistry. That actually leads me on to my next question. What do you think the <laughs> best A-levels are, slash subjects are for your course? Biology and chemistry, without a shadow of a doubt. Some courses, they'll want you to take a third science. So it might be like maths or physics or something. Um, but if they don't want that, then I would say third option pick something you enjoy and pick something that you know you'll get an a in because that will help you more in the long run so Andy reskin is based on three campuses so there's a campus in cambridge a campus in peterborough and a campus in chelmsford medicine runs on the chelmsford campus and i never go to any of the other campuses for anything and we don't really mix with the other campuses so they're quite like segregated even though it's all under the same Anglia Reskin name um yeah their Chelmsford campus is mainly like healthcare sciences so nursing midwifery and worst it's not a big student city um well Chelmsford I mean I don't know about Cambridge I don't know about Peterborough but Chelmsford is not a big student city it's kind of like there's lots of people who commute into London so it's not got the best nightlife in the issue isn't great it's quite a small campus um yeah that's probably the worst the best best is the facilities are great we have great support um chelmsford's a really nice town like it might not be the most studenty town but it's really quite pleasant and quite safe and it's only 30 minutes on the train to london so that's quite handy so i lived on campus in my first year at a place it's called ransom's way and i was in a refurb room with like it's quite the rooms are quite small and so just like a single bed but it did have an ensuite and it was refurb and like had really good storage but yeah it was quite small what was it like living there how many people are in your flat so there's six people per flat and then it's a locked door before that like i know some of the halls it's kind of like there's not much you have a lock on your door but maybe there's not like a lock before you get into the kitchen living area um but we were we had a lock before our kitchen living area which was it kind of makes it feel a little bit more safe um, and then I was in I was in a flat with five other girls and then there was probably about six other flats in that like block so not like massive 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 halls they're still quite small what was it like living there um like not not really 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 lively we we were all grouped into I lived with all medics I think they do that that wasn't my choice I think they kind of put medics together just because of placement and whatever so yeah it was yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah it wasn't like party central it was just and it's quite nice the refurb it's it's small but the refurb rooms are really nice i moved out into a flat with my best friend about 10 minutes walk away from campus um it's difficult because i feel like when you're in halls like say your bills are sorted out for you your wi-fi sorted out for you like i remember when we got to our flat and we were like right 
we have to get like a wi-fi box we have to do so many different things that we just hadn't thought of i think when you move out to a different place that's when you actually kind of grow up a little bit i was going to say sometimes if you're on campus obviously you're probably really really close to things whereas if you move out you it's different being a little bit further away as well i think it becomes easier to miss things because you're like oh it's such a long walk or whatever um so i would just say like make the effort to still go in even like it's only a 10 minute walk for me which is fine but i know other people who moved out a little bit further and it can get a little bit more tricky to get back into campus i would say people are your best friends it doesn't always make them good housemates i'm so lucky like my best friend we have such a night like we get on so well living together however i know a lot of people who are really close and then they move out together and then it just ruins your friendship i think try and move out with people like i think the dynamics of the people you move out with is so 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 important um so just try pick those people quite well like if they have similar don't know if they want the house to be like a similar level of tidy to you like you kind of don't want people who are really 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 neat freaks and then you don't want people who are like disgustingly messy like you just want someone who's on the same level as you that's really important um someone who has like the same budget as you and someone who maybe wants to live maybe if someone doesn't mind walking then obviously you can pick somewhere like maybe a little bit further away or if someone is like they want to be close to uni because they want to go into the library a lot all these different things that you really don't consider so there's only literally just one option there's the the one in ronson's way but then there's the refurbed option and there's the non-refurbed option and i would i think i don't even think there's that much of a price difference between refurb and non-refurb so i would definitely get the refurb but i think there's just limited so sometimes people don't get um right. refurb when they want it so it's there's quite a lot of bars but there's only really one big club which is like bar and beyond and it, it's kind of like, because it's because it's not a big city, there isn't really that much of a nightlife during the week. There's only really Saturdays, Fridays, and then Wednesdays sometimes. They do shoot night on a Wednesday, but... What's the bar for you? Um, try, um I feel the like most, uh, most of us would probably go to Weatherspoons before we go out. <laughs> okay. And if compared to where you, your hometown, what are the shops and food varieties like? Is it uh, popular shops, local shops, or a good mix? Um, there's quite a lot of popular shops, I would say, and there are so many restaurants. Like, I, I've never been somewhere with more restaurants. Like, there's restaurants, every chain restaurant you could possibly think of There's is in Chelmsford. So what's your chain restaurant, then? What, what's your go-to oh, place every time? I feel like I always go to Wagamama's. It's like a chain restaurant, which is a good one for me, personally. Um, stay on top of everything. Work little and often. It's so much better than letting things pile up and just get on top of you just chip away um even if i always make if i've got loads of things to do i make a list and i start with the easiest one and then i feel good about myself and then i go on to do something a little bit more like time consuming or trickier so yeah just don't let things get on top of you and if you do then make sure you talk to someone about it um I would say, um, like, make most of having London on your doorstep. Like, if, if Chel- Chelmsford can get quite boring sometimes, um, like, just go go out for a night. It's quite easy to go out for a night out in London. I'll go out for the day in London when you do get a little bit bored. And family. Learn how to study properly. And medicine isn't even that hard. It's just the amount of knowledge that you have to know, which makes it really, really tricky. Um, But if you learn to study properly and you learn to like work through that information efficiently, you'll be fine. That is such an interesting question because one of my best friends is actually doing an apprenticeship and she's had like such an incredible experience. You know, she's, they paid for her degree. Like there are some incredible apprenticeship options out there. And I think definitely... I don't know. I feel like it's slept on a little bit. I feel like a lot of people don't know the options that are available to them in terms of like apprenticeships. Um, for me, like obviously to be a doctor, you need that qualification. There's no way of getting that any other way. The same as if you wanted to be a teacher or a solicitor or something like there is a set path that you kind of, you need to follow to get those qualifications. Um, so, and I knew that that was what I wanted. So that's why I chose to go to uni. So I have like an Instagram and I've got like a YouTube channel and I would say my Instagram is definitely more like fashion, travel. Sometimes I do post about issues in medicine. So recently there was a whole thing about like the med bikini thing. I did a post about that. I did a post about results day. But most of it is just basically me living my life. So if you are interested in doing medicine and you want to see what I get up to on a day-to-day basis, then follow me. My handle is just at Faye 
then on my YouTube, I kind of talk a little bit more about the application process for medicine. A little bit, I do more in-depth, like day in the life, week in the life sort of videos. Um, and my channel is just Faye Bay again. Um, so give me a subscribe. So nursing, you become a nurse. Medicine, you become a doctor. So of medicine? Depends on your university. And I definitely think if you are like practically orientated like me, or if you're more academic, then this is something that you really need to look for in a uni. So for me, we've been on placement since the very beginning of first year, whereas others you might not go on till third year. So this is very much like my own personal experience. But I go on placement once, I've been on placement once a week since first year, like for an afternoon where you just go on the wards. And in the first few years, you aren't given any responsibility. It's very much like observing, or you might be asked to do a history or an examination, but under the supervision of like a doctor. And then we also have like a four week block at the end of every year where we're just in hospital for four weeks like full time and then from third year onwards so from March of this year I go into I'm move from being campus-based teaching to hospital-based teaching so I'm going to be in hospital on placement basically full time um yeah and I think from third year onwards you have like a more hands-on active role in the hospital again this is like personal to me for the first for the past few years so up until year, my holiday days my holidays have been less than people do in other courses. Like um, my brother's about to start economics and my boyfriend did like law. And my boyfriend used to get so much more holiday than me and he would wind me up. Like he would finish in May and I would finish. Basically, I would say the best way to describe holidays for medicine is probably the same as what you'd get in school, but minus the half term. Like if you went to state school, not like private school. But um, so I think I got, I mean, a bit more. Like I got eight weeks for summer last year, maybe. Yeah, eight weeks for summer last year um one week for easter two weeks for christmas so that is quite a lot less than mm. most other uni students and then i think when we go on placement it gets even less so what when you have this less time what is it filled with well i mean it is mainly content it's a very content heavy course very content heavy course very demanding um as i said like we're in five days a week nine till four we have three lectures every day and then afternoons we have like clinical skills placement um so there's a lot of content to get through and then on top of that we have to study and then as i said you know we get a four week placement block so there it's meant there's just so much to learn that's the best way to describe it and i it's understandable you know you want doctors who you know yeah, doctors and competent doctors so they just yeah you're in a lot to learn learn all that yeah absolutely like i think the best thing that i can give for time management is to-do lists um making sure that you have like you have like a good calendar or diary whether that's physical or just on your phone i just use on my phone and that works well but when someone says oh can you do this next week can you do this in two weeks time there's a deadline in a month don't think oh i'll put it in my calendar later as soon as someone says something put it in your calendar so that you have that like organization then i'd say to do lists if you're really struggling with procrastinating i really struggle with procrastinating then start with the easiest thing first because then you'll get this sense of achievement that will propel you and give you energy to do like the harder tasks um yeah i'd say on placement well it's not the worst thing it's probably like the the best thing where if you're whether you're doing anything placement related whether that's like medicine or nursing or midwifery anything remember to put yourself out there and be like a personable a personable person placement based subject make sure that you are like putting yourself out there because on placement me and my friend everyone else was just shadowing doctors or like sitting in on clinics and things like that and me and my friend just because we got chatting to people just because we made an effort like asking questions and showing we were interested we got to like scrubbing on surgeries watch surgeries and do all these different things that like other medical students at the same level of it as us were not getting the opportunity to just because we were putting ourselves out there so like if you're on placement that would be some advice i'd like to give like if you're on placement just really put yourself out there